Hello everyone. So I just saw Joker and uh, normally I see movies on uh, Thursday night showings, but uh, last night I was actually, I've been actually kind of under the weather the past few days. So um, I don't know if it's like a sinus thing or whatever, but uh, last night I just couldn't, I was just too tired. So I was like, all right, I'll just wait till Friday to see it. And uh, yeah, I just got out of a 1 p.m. showing of uh, Joker and uh, yeah, it was, it was very, 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 very good. Um, yeah, all the praise you're hearing about this movie is is uh, true. Um, this this whole lot of minute, my my phone keeps. It's a stupid mount on my in my car. That's yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. So I just saw Joker, um, and I like this. Uh, I'm wearing like a Joker jersey thing. I think I had I got this at like Spirit Halloween. Um, it was a gift from Spirit Halloween. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, um, awesome movie. Oh, my God. Um, um, it rem really reminds me of, of uh, Logan because it's rated R. It's obviously a self-centered story about one character. Um, Logan, obviously, was part of a franchise and had other, you know, like Professor X and stuff like that. But uh, this is very much in the same vein of, like, gritty, real, um, very raw great lead performance obviously um so those similarities are you know can't help but point those out um yeah Joaquin Phoenix is gonna probably get nominated I think at least um I don't know if he's gonna win it just depends on who else he's gonna be up against obviously but um yeah I mean wow um this really was a great origin story um <clears throat> probably the best origin like we've ever seen um there's other good origins, but uh, this in particular was very well done, and you could really, like on a men like on a mental and emotional level, you could really understand how this guy turns into the Joker. Um, it's very believable. It's very real, and uh, there's some controversy with this movie. Um, there's something that does happen in it that is very. I'm not gonna say anything until the end of the video, so no spoilers. But. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely a uh, controversial thing that happens. Um, yeah, but uh, man, this movie was very well done. Todd Phillips directed it. Obviously, he's done the Hangover movies, and uh, what was it, Old School? I think um, I've never seen Old School, but I love the Hangover movies, even two and three. Um, I'm one of the biggest fans of that, so I'm very pleased to see that he did a great job with this. Um, I don't know if he's ever directed any um, like serious movie of this nature, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he just strictly does comedies from what I can tell. Um, but wow, this was, this was something else. Um, and of course people are going to compare him to Heath Ledger, um, Joaquin Phoenix, of course. Um, they're very different. Um, it's kind of like apples and oranges. Like obviously with this one, you get to see everything from his perspective. Literally the whole movie is from his perspective, but, uh, obviously with the Joker, you really don't, uh, as far as what I can tell, in movies at least, like, you don't really see from the Joker's, like, point of view. Oh, my phone just fell, oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this, I need to get a new mount, this thing, it's like a magnet, but it's not, I don't know, I don't know what happened to it. Anyways, um, well, hopefully that doesn't happen again, Jesus Christ, the video's still going, so that's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Both are great, obviously. Heath Ledger's iconic. You know, I'm sure this down the road is going to become iconic as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, um, I'm just going to say the rating is a 10 out of 10. Like, I really didn't have any problems with the movie at all. Like, it was excellent. Um, yeah, just very, very, very raw and real. And I love the setting, too. I love that they chose, you know, back in the day, like 1970s, I assume, New York. Um, obviously, there's comparisons with Taxi Driver and King of Comedy, and of course Robert De Niro's in this movie, so that's pretty cool, um, very much, it very much feels like a Scorsese kind of world, um, not like a Scorsese movie per se, but definitely like, uh, the atmosphere of like the 70s and, uh, trashy New York and all that stuff, it, it really captures that really well, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this movie, like I said, all the praise it's getting, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I'm sure everyone's going to see it anyways, but um, go see it if you're having second thoughts. And like I said, 10 out of 10. I mean, I really didn't have any problems with it. Um, yeah, 
But anyways, um, you know, it is a DC movie, but it's not connected to the other ones. Um, but still, for a Joker origin and performance and everything, it really knocked it out of the park. Definitely one of the best movies of the year. I don't know if it's like my favorite or anything. I obviously need to watch it more times. Um, so I can't wait to own it. But uh, yeah, I mean, go see it. It's, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the non-spoiler part, I guess. Um, cause I'd really like to talk spoilers, but, uh, like I said, go see it. Honestly, 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm just, I'm just very pleased with it. Um, Joaquin Phoenix, fantastic job. Lost a lot of weight for this and, you know, he's like a method actor. So, you know, <laughs> he really put in the effort for this. Um, so yeah, anyways, leave the video now. If you don't want to know spoilers, come back later and watch if you want, whatever. Um, so yeah, spoiler talk right now. Three, two, one. So, the main controversial thing, in my opinion, was when he shot Murray in the head, which is crazy. I mean, Jesus Christ, because that, something shocking like that could happen, you know? Um, that is a very scary and real thing that could happen. Um, like, Jesus Christ. I didn't expect them to actually kill him. Um, I heard something that, uh, one of the Joker stories in the comics or something, he shoots the audience or something, he kills the audience... I was like wondering, are they gonna do that in the in the in this movie? Are, are, is he gonna kill Murray's audience? Like he has a whole a bunch of people that killed him, I guess, or something. Um, so I was like wondering, how are they gonna do that? Maybe, but no. Instead, he actually just kills Murray, Robert De Niro. That was very, very. It reminds me of uh, there's a video of a guy. Um, he was like in trouble with taxes or tax evasion or something like that, and he ended up killing himself on live TV. Um, I can't remember his name though. It's a viral video. I mean, everybody's seen it at this point. If you haven't, look it up. Just It's like a guy... I don't know his name, though. Um, he shot himself on live TV, and like, you literally can see the footage. It's disturbing. Um, it really reminded me of that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be controversial because, obviously, there's a, uh, a riot afterwards, and he's praised as this messiah and all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, that was shocking. I mean, Jesus Christ. And then... Uh, also, when he kills his mother, which I guess was justified in a way because she let him get abused and all this stuff, and she lied to him, even though she was mentally, you know, gone, but... And then the part where he kills his friend, what's his name, Randy or whatever, Randall, um, with the scissors, Jesus Christ. Um, man, this was a good Joker, Jesus, man. Um, definitely up there with Heath Ledger, but, you know, like I said, I can't honestly compare them. Um, they're two different things, but um, just as good, if anything. Um... I was surprised by the twist with uh, uh, Zazie Beetz. I don't know her character's name. Uh, she was Domino in Deadpool 2, obviously. Um, that twist surprised me. It was just in his head, I guess. Um, so she wasn't really, like, his girlfriend or whatever. Um, but wow, like, right from the start of the movie, you really felt for him because he was getting beat up and <sighs> nothing went right for him. So, you know what? By the end of the movie, it all makes sense. It's, it's kind of a weird thing. It makes you... You know, he sympathize with this lunatic, but, um, yeah, I mean, and then the surprise, actually, was that Thomas and Martha Wayne were killed as a result of the riot. They were trying, they were leaving a theater, and then, you know, they just happened to be there when it happened. Um, so I like that tie-in, you know, and, uh, you know, maybe you could argue, oh, maybe this is tied into the DCEU, this is just a different Joker from back then. I don't think so, because, you know, in Batman v Superman, they showed... Batman's parents getting killed with the, uh, the guy shooting them, obviously, and it was, you know, it was Negan and Maggie from Walking Dead, obviously, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Lauren Cohan, so different actors and everything, but I don't know, maybe they could tie it in, I, I don't think it matters at this point, but, um, yeah, I don't think it's the same universe, it's just a, a cool thing to notice, though, that they put that in the movie, that Joker's, um, actions are what led Bruce to become Batman, obviously. Um, so I like that little tie in there. They didn't have to do that. And it doesn't hurt the movie either. You know, people could say, oh, it's a stupid, you don't need to tie it in with the other movies. It, uh, no, it, honestly, it's not even that big a deal. And I love the fact that they had him confront Thomas Wayne and stuff like that. That was cool. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Um, any other major spoilers? Oh, my phone fell again. Look at that. That's twice. All right, so I'm going to get a new <laughs> phone mount for my car because this one, I don't know what the problem is. It's never done this. Um, 
yeah, but anyways, um, any other major spoilers? Um, trying to think. Robert De Niro was good, obviously, you know. He, it's kind of funny how if you ever watch King of Comedy, uh, in that movie, he, he, you know, he idolizes the talk show host. It's very similar to this, and he is the talk show host in this, so it's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's it for major spoilers. Um, yeah, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, oh, my God, this thing keeps going crooked. Oh, my God, I, I'm going to buy a new phone now. But, uh, anyways, yeah, sorry that I'm sick and this review is all over the place, but what else is new? Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to be unboxing uh, Midsummer today. It should be coming in the mail. Um, and Toy Story 4, I think, shipped yesterday. So it's probably going to be here Monday. And, uh, yeah, um, that's it for videos coming up, I think. Uh, next Friday, I'm going to be reacting to the Breaking Bad movie, of course. I mean, you know. Um, so I'm going to react to the whole movie. I'm going to have a full-length reaction video. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. And, uh, 11 minutes. I think this has gone long enough. So, thanks for watching. Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen it at this point, I hope. But, uh, Joker, great movie. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.